with Amy. Welcome to Mental Game with Amy. <laughs> Today, the topic we're going to talk about is on the mental routine. I know you guys probably seen my pre-chart routine video, and I had promised the mental routine video, and it took forever to shoot this because I've shot it several times. I tried it on the golf course, you know, inside like this. Mental routine is so complex. I didn't want to throw like this much amount of, you know, like information at you guys. So I, I just kept filming, watching it, playing it back to myself, trying to make it seem as simple as possible. And today, guys, is going to be the day I get to do this correctly. <laughs> I got enough practice on the med belt. I got this. <laughs> okay. So with the mental routine, it's just like the pre-chart routine. It is actually the best if you have a system. Everybody's built differently, so it may not work for everybody. For, but for majority of the golfers, we have very similar personalities where we are like atypical, you know, like kind of we like to have things organized and you know, in place and we have very similar personalities. <laughs> so um, I, I am pretty sure it's going to work for a lot of you guys because it's worked on all of my students, like 100% of them. So <laughs> mental routine kind of goes like this. So pre-chat routine is the physical part of the movements you do before you hit the golf ball. Mental routine is everything that happens in here before you hit the golf ball, right? So mental routine, usually mine goes like this. You get to the golf ball and I scan the hole. Where's the flag? Where's the trouble? How's the wind? And then I check out my lie. And is it sitting up well? What's the slope doing? You know, is it wet? Is it, what is it doing? Like I study the lie. And then it's all about me. How am I feeling? How am I playing? What kind of shot I feel comfortable playing here? So what club I'm going to hit because of that, etc., etc. So I do that and then I go right into the pre-shirt routine and then I hit the ball. So that's like my mental routine. And you might be th sitting there thinking, well, I thought mental routine was more about controlling your emotions, like thinking positive versus negative. That is true, but those things, when you are analyzing what shot you're going to take, it's still a process going on in your brain. So that is all a part of your mental game. So having said that, you see how like, it's almost like I can label my one to 10 in my mental routine. Like, you know, I check out the hole, the trouble and the lie and da 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 da. It goes one two, through 10 I'm on a list. I can write that out. Um, but here, let's say you missed a short like, one foot birdie putt in the previous hole and you're standing over this ball and you're not trying to figure out what shot is going to happen but you're still thinking about that last putt that made you sick to the tummy then your mental routine is off does it make sense or let's say you made a hole in one in the previous hole and you're so happy and you're over this golf ball and you're just thinking about how exciting that was and I just made that first hole in one of my life and it was so great and you're doing your pre-shirt routine that your mental routine was no good on that one. So whether you're thinking future or the past, whether you're thinking positive or negative, it doesn't matter. As long as you, if you're not thinking about this shot right now, then you're not doing the right mental routine. That makes sense, right? Everybody's different. Some players would like to just focus on feel and be target oriented. So that's their mental routine, but they're not thinking what happened before or what's going to happen. They're just thinking about what they need to think about to make this shot happen, right? There is one more part to this mental routine. Pre-shot routine usually happens physically before you strike the golf ball. Mental routine needs to have both before the strike and after the strike. Very interesting, right? Pre-shirt routine, the physical part, we don't really do anything after we hit the golf ball, but mental, you need it. This is so important. So my routine, it's been working for uh, a long time. <laughs> and you've probably 
heard this from a lot of psychologists because that's where I got it from. And I started working on this and it's been working great ever since. I tweaked it a little bit to make it my own, but three hours after I hit, I do this on every single shot. It happens automatically now. The R's are review, remind, and release. So let's say I hit a thin shot. It's okay to get upset as long as you don't bother the other players. It's okay. Just, oh my gosh, it was terrible. You know, get upset. Don't break clubs or don't hit the ground with the clubs, but get upset like, oh my God, that was so terrible, right? <laughs> and then do the R's. So you review, I'm like, why did I top it? And then you can kind of track back to, oh, well, my coach always tells me, you know, when I'm under pressure, I get really fast and my head goes up really fast. Maybe that was it. Or maybe I just, um, and the last one, I was totally not focused. Like you would know an answer if you try to come up with one. And with experience, you will get the answers really quickly. Um, and then you'd have to remind yourself, I know this is kind of silly, but you have to absolutely always tell yourself, well, the next time I'm really excited over a driver shot, I am going to like take a deep breath and calm myself down before I hit the golf ball. That way I don't get quick and lift my head. So if you say next time I'm going to do this, believe it or not, next time you come across the same situation, you will remember that conversation with yourself and you can eliminate missed shots that way. But if you don't do the reminding part, most likely you're going to do the same mistakes over and over and over, like more often than if you had already told yourself in this situation, I am going to do this. Like you put a full stop at the end of the sentence, then you'll remember it. Release part. So now you've done the first two R's and you got mad before doing the R's. Now you gotta take a deep breath in. Breathe out and you're going to release every emotion out of your body so you can calm yourself down so you're ready for the next shot. Because if you're too upset or if you're too happy, the next shot you might get really fast again and lift your head up again, right? So that's why you always have to go back to that optimal state of mind and body to help you hit that golf ball great. So. Today, I know that wasn't too bad, right? I actually, I think I did a better job than I expected. Like, so before the strike, you have to have a mental routine that works for you. Do it in a A to Z manner. Like you always have check marks. I did that, 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 boom, boom, boom. So that way, if you keep doing it over time, you're going to be on autopilot. And if you look at a shot, boom, 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 A to Z is gonna be done automatically. And then after the shot, make sure you do the R's. It's really going to help you catch yourself back up if, if you're doing something terrible during that round. And also it'll prevent you from making same mistakes. So try that mental routine. Let me know how it goes. If you have more questions on your mental game, please come to ask any section, leave your questions in comments there and then I'll get back to you guys on those. Thank you for watching. Happy golfing. Your and greens. See you in the next one.